Wagwan my delightful peeps, welcome back to another video from Dania's Delight JE. Today I am showing you how to make Jamaican greater cake aka pink pan top. To make this delightful treat the main ingredient you will need is coconut and here I have my fresh coconut but you can also use coconut flakes if you can't find fresh coconut. You will also need granulated sugar. I have two cups of granulated sugar here. I have an ounce of smashed ginger. I washed and peeled my ginger and smashed it. Do not grate the ginger. The best way to do it for this recipe is to smash the ginger. And I have two cups of water there and my Benjamin red food coloring, which I will use to make the pink on top. I'm gonna start out by peeling the skin from my coconut, just like this. We will only be using the white part, so we have to get rid of all this part. We want our coconut flakes to be white and fluffy. We don't want any dark in it. So that is the reason while we peel the skin away. As mentioned before, if you have coconut flakes, you can use coconut flakes, it is a lot easier. But I'm making this from scratch. Okay, so this is what you want your coconut to look like. So this is what will be grated when we're done peeling all the skin from the coconut that I have here. My coconut is peeled and now ready to be grated. As you can see, there is no brown part on it. It should be all white. The next step is just to get a grater and start grating away. So here I have my grater and a wide enough pan and I'm using the smallest part to shred my coconut. And this is what you want to achieve, nice white and fluffy. So we'll just continue grating. This is it. Fresh coconut flakes. Nice, white and fluffy. We don't need to see any of the dark part in there. This is all you need. Nice, white, fluffy, fresh coconut flakes. I'm just going to set this aside and move over to the next segment. Okay, so it's now time to pay attention to the most famous pot in Jamaica, the Dutch pot. Alright, so to my Dutch pot, I am adding two cups of water. And to the two cups of water, I am adding one and a half cup of granulated sugar. And last but not least, I am adding my smashed ginger. I'll just leave this to dissolve and allow the ginger to flavor the water. And we just want this to boil until it becomes a syrup-like consistency. And we can just leave this on its own for about 2-3 to three minutes. So this has been boiling for about 3 minutes and now it's time to add my fresh coconut flakes. Thank you. 
all I am doing now is just to stir this in properly and ensure that it is properly saturated and just to leave it to boil down to a honey like consistency or a syrup like consistency we don't want this to get burnt so I have to pay special attention to it I remain here and consistently stir this until it boils down we want this to remain white all white I will be removing the ginger from it when it reaches a certain point but for now I will leave it and this will remain uncovered over medium flame do remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment And this is coming down quite nicely as you can see it is sticking to the spoon and that is a sign to show you that this is starting to get that syrup like consistency that we want it to have and as soon as you start seeing less and less bubbles there are quite a few bubbles in there now we still want it to go down some more at this point this is almost ready so I'm removing the ginger from this we no longer need the ginger to be a part of this equation the ginger has already done its job so we are removing it alright seems like there is no more ginger and you see how this is nice and white this is what you want to have all we want to have is just coconut and sugar we just want the water to dry out and leave the sugar and the coconut and then the thickness of the sugar will hold it in place as you can see the bubbles have gotten less and less less and less bubbles so this is just sugar and coconut this is what you want to have this is now ready to be laid out on parchment paper so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna separate this I'm gonna put half a side So here you have it. I'm putting a half of it aside and leaving a half in the pot to be laid out on parchment paper right away. I have my sheet of parchment paper here laid out and all I'm going to do is just to layer this out on the parchment paper and flatten it out and then I will put the mixture of red and layer that on top. So now that the white part is flattened, I'm going to work on making the pink. Back over to my Dutch pot. This is the portion that I had set aside. I am now going to put my red food coloring in. If you want to make it really red, you use more. If you want it pink, you use a little less. And it is as simple as that. That is how you get the pink. 
back over to the paper I am now gonna layer this with the pink Now that I have layered it with the pink on top, I will just leave it to air dry. Now that my grater cake is dry, I am now cutting it. As you can see, I started to cut it already. And here it is, Jamaican grater cake, aka pink pan top. The full recipe for my grater cake will be in the description below along with my Instagram link. Do remember to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell, like my video, leave a comment about my grater cake, and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.